All right, in this video, what I want to do is sort of show you where I'm at uh, with the uh, ancient wisdom museum scene and talk about how I created the floor. Uh, so here I've got, you know, as you can see, the display cases and various other props, the Ten Commandments that I may have shown you or may have not. I've got another image. I've got this uh, candle holder here, and I've put some little lights in the display cases, all the display cases, and, and, and over here, uh, I've textured the walls. There's, there's nothing special that I've done with that. I've done sort of concrete walls or plaster walls before. I textured the doors. Right now, I've got this opaque window glass on here. I haven't decided if I want this to be see-through or like this. I still have some posters on the wall to do and these posts and, uh, you know, I have other things. I've got some pottery in the corner. I'll show you in another image. I've got one over here. I've got the ceiling lights if I decide to keep those. Uh, I'm going to show you just one other image and you can see there you can see uh, the Ten Commandments. I don't know if you had seen that before. Uh, this image has been post-processed a little bit, but it is a render. So you can see I've got some work to do up here and I've got stuff to fill in. The cases has still some more modeling to do, but this is what I've got so far. And what I wanted to talk to you about in this video, aside from just showing you some of the things that I've got, is to talk just about, about the floor. It's very simple. Uh, but I wanted a simple sort of tile kind of floor that I made in Substance Designer and Substance Painter. So I'm just going to really quickly show you uh, how I did that here in Designer. And all I really need out of this is a normal map and the ambient occlusion. I don't need anything else for this. So I'm going to get rid of uh, the other stuff. And uh, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to change the ambient occlusion and put a real ambient occlusion node down so I'm going to do that and connect it and uh, this is really all we're going to need for this particular thing it's very really simple so all right so the way I, I did this is I press space button space bar actually and I'm going to get a tile generator there's the tile generator and you can see the preview of it there we don't see anything yet on there but let's make a couple of changes here I'm change the X amount to 4 and the Y amount to 8 all right so you start getting that and we're going to switch this from brick to square and it'll disappear until we change the scale down here I'm going to go 0 0.99 now you can just barely start to see uh, what's going on here okay um, we're going to put the offset at 0 0.5 so now you can see sort of a standard uh, brick kind of look and um, if I take this I could plug this in to the normal to the ambient occlusion and I'll plug it into the height uh, and this is what you get I'm gonna come over to, to my normal here and switch this to OpenGL and uh, bring the intensity up to something like eight and I'll take the ambient occlusion make it a little darker and you don't really see too much of the height yet let's have a look at that normal uh, maybe we'll go for 10 all right for the moment that's what we're going to get all right so here's what we're going to do if I wanted these bricks to, or you know, there, I guess they are bricks right now, to sort of be at different heights, uh, I could change down here, I could change the luminance random, try 0 0.4, all right, and you can see that. Now, we wouldn't see any height yet until we do this. But this is not what I'm going to exactly go for, but just to show you. Uh, I'm going to switch that to OpenGL and down here, increase that a bit, increase the scale, and that would start pushing them out based on the luminance random, the random grayscale. That's not really important to what I want to do. I'll show you what it is I want to do. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, dis I'm going to delete that for, for the moment, and we're going to take this 
and I'm going to bring that into a blend and I'm also going to bring it out into a transform 2d and this one I'm just going to rotate 90 degrees like that I'm going to bring it back in but I'm just going to switch these I don't know that will really matter so we've got this I'm going to leave it on copy now we're not seeing anything yet uh, I can go ahead and plug that back in okay so uh, what we've got is we've got these ones going horizontal and these ones going vertical the next thing that I want to do to make the pattern on the floor is I'm going to take this one and duplicate it and I'm going to keep this at four and eight but I'm going to change the scale where's the scale I'm going to make the scale one I'm going to get I leave the offset at 0 0.5 I'm going to get rid of the luminance random and I'm going to use this masking here I'm going to use a vertical mask and you get these sort of lines like that and I'm going to plug that into here and I'm going to actually get rid of the luminance I, I, I don't actually need that or, or or want that this is the essentially the pattern that I'm going to want like this then I'm going to come over here and I'll pull out here and I'm going to add a bevel and we're just going to use the really small value uh, for the bevel mine is 0, 0.0 we'll try 0 0.02 and I'll take this and I'll plug it in and now we can see uh, what we're getting here we could try uh, 0 0.01 to do that and we could also lower the uh, intensity of the ambient occlusion a little bit and that's essentially the pattern that I want to get uh, for the floor now I might want to smooth that out you can see the normal this is really what I want out of this this normal this ambient occlusion bring those into substance pain I'll show you that in a second one more thing that I could do if I wanted is I could use a uh, let's say maybe a non-uniform blur gray scale bring that into there and maybe on this you could just if I if I lower the ambient occlusion like that you can see it a little bit better okay the the the, uh, the bevel and then then just this Let's bring the samples up, and the plates up. So I could, I could blur that a little bit, or I could just use a regular blur. Maybe I'll just do that. Let's come out to a regular blur. Let's plug that in. I'll bring the ambient occlusion back up again. There you see that height and just it so you know you can smooth these out if you want to and that's it it's just to just for the fun of it try a different bevel all right so you get so it looks like a chocolate bar you get some really nice effects out of this but i'll stick with uh 0, 0.01 and uh just have a little bit of this blur and I'll bring up this so this is really so what we want that kind of thing so I get the dark lines in between I don't even really need the height but I'll, I'll leave it so what I want to do is I want to export these and bring them into substance painter and that and that's it I mean we could go on and you could do all kinds of things but for what I want to do, it's wanted to do something simple and have substance designer in the pipeline. So we're not putting grunge and holes and dirt and, and all that kind of stuff on. We'll do that another time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my Explorer. I'm going to right click and I'm going to export output as bitmaps. I'll put it on my desktop and I want the normal height and ambient occlusion. I'm not even really going to use the height, but I'm just going to switch these. And I'm going to export outputs, export done. So we're done, and we're going to use that in Substance Painter now.
So uh, this is my whole floor for the entire museum. It's not a plane that's like a one by one plane that I'm going to click together. It's it's my whole floor. And so what I'm going to do here is um, I've already baked the mesh maps. So I'm here. I'm going to uh, add a fill. And in the properties here, I'm going to add uh, the uh, the normal map and ambient occlusion isn't in here and so I'm going to I'm going to add that here and now it's available I'll turn it on so I've got ambient occlusion and normal those are the main ones and I can adjust the roughness myself and I'm going to do some with my base color in a bit too so I'm going to import those uh, I'll I'm just going to take the ambient occlusion and the normal I'm going to open those select them both to find them as a texture I'll just do it to my current session so there they are I'm going to drop my normal map on here and there you can see that pattern and down at the bottom I'm going to drop the ambient occlusion and that'll darken it up all right um, now I'm that's my whole floor so that would obviously be pretty big so what I would what I would end up doing is coming up here and let's see if it changes with triplanar. I don't think it's going to matter. But, uh, and then you can scale this however many times you would need to for your floor. You know, let's say I just go with something like that. So there's my, my basic pattern. And you can see it's tiling. And on my base color, I'm going to come to, let's try materials, say concrete or something like that. We could try, just try dropping that on. And that gives me that right there. Okay, and then you can do whatever you want. Add dirt, add smudges and stuff like that. Uh, and, and, and that's it. You can um, you know, change the color of the concrete. You can adjust the roughness. And that's not really going to do anything. And um, yeah, that's, basic. that's basically the idea. You could, let's try uh, something different on there. All right, so just making the pattern in Substance Designer and then, uh, you know, dropping stuff on in in Substance Painter. You know, whatever it is, whatever it is you want. And that is what I basically did here. All right, there's my pattern. I added a, a couple of other things on there, but that's basically what I did to get this. All right, so uh, I'm going to carry on uh, working on this. I do have other things uh, to do but hopefully not too too much and I may end up just doing sort of a, a, a corner shot something like this where I focus on the Ten Commandments as ancient wisdom maybe I bring the other display case uh, you know these display cases I might move them into this position so that they're visible in that shot or I might just leave it the way it is we'll see I'm not quite sure but I do have some more modeling and texturing to do and then I'll wrap that up so if there's something interesting that I'm doing over the next little bit then I'll show you that otherwise I may just do a couple of things and tell you how I did it all right so thanks very much for for coming by and checking this out and if you are in the blender challenge the ancient wisdom then I look forward to seeing your whips there is now a renders channel for anybody who finishes and wants to post their final render or renders in there but there's no great rush because we've got to around middle of January I'll probably be done in about another week and then I'll let it go and I'll do some other stuff and then I'll I'll come back and look at it and see if there's any final things that I need to do and uh, then we'll do a render review at the end of the Ancient Wisdom Challenge. Okay, so uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.